All right, lads, this is the last part of the Fenners Fundamentals Wood League practice sec uh, section, and this is going to be the hardest one yet. This is going to be just uh, like this is the part where we're just focusing purely on mechanics and ingraining those habits. So we're going to go ahead on Daybreak Elio, add an easy, a very easy opponent. It doesn't really matter too much, but yeah. Um, this is going to be the hardest one, and it's going to be the last one before we go into playing opponents on ladder. So this is the last one you're going to get before we're under pressure from opponents. So this is purely working on mechanics. You're going to focus everything on mechanics. We're going to go over everything, overlord spread, um, following a build order. So going straight away, building a drone, and hockeying that hatchery and spreading that first overlord and we're going to go ahead and build drones all the way up to 9 supply and we're going to focus on the other things as well, we've got to get creep spread, we're going to get injects, we're going to get uh, you know just everything man, just everything so let's just follow this build order and um, this is not going to be too easy so you're probably going to have to do it a couple of times to get it down um, but that's good because that means if it's not too easy then it means you're learning because if it's too easy then you're not learning so we build this overlord and we're going to go ahead and spread him um, we always want to be spreading them as soon as they build. And then this time right now, after once we're at 10 supply, is the best time to go ahead and set your camera location hotkeys. So there we go. We've got the camera location hotkeys, and we're going to get ready to build these drones as soon as this overlord finishes. There we go. Boom. Building drones on the main. And then the next part in the build is to build a 15 hatchery. So we're going to drone straight up to 15. And then we're going to go ahead and build that hatchery, like I said before. Um, the best time to send the drone down for the hatchery. Uh, we want to be using camera hotkeys as well. Makes it a lot smoother. Um, the best time to send him down is about 200 supply from the main. And then once he gets down to the natural, he will have about 300 minerals ready to drop that hatchery. So about 200 supply now, about 180 there. Um, he's going to go and run down to the natural. And then he's going to be able to drop that hatchery at pretty good timing. Bit of lag there. And there we go, boom. Pretty good timing. Put that on the hotkey and keep building drones all the way up to 17 supply where we're going to go ahead and build a spawning pool. Um, 17 spawning pool is a bit greedy. You probably won't see it much in real build orders, but it is the most economic. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit greedy. Most people just go 15 hatch, 16 pool if they want to go for a hatch first build. But um, as soon as we get 17 supply, we're going to go ahead and build that spawning pool. Move him out a bit earlier so he's ready to build it. Boom, there we go. 17 spawning, spawning pool down and we're going to go ahead and build another drone because the next part in the build order is to build a 17 overlord so as soon as we've got the one lava for that overlord we're going to go ahead and build him boom building the overlord put him on this ledge needs to remember to spread him and then the next part is to build an extractor on 315 so 315 there build another extractor and keep building drones yes drones 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 but the, the, the important thing we need to think about now is we need to keep good saturation on the main. So we need three drones in this extractor here. We also want to keep 16 drones on the main. And once there's 16 on the main, then we want to go ahead and rally to the natural. So that extractor's finishing. And then we've got this one popping, which is going to make it 15. And this one's going to make it 16. Just rally him straight there. We need to go ahead and build two queens right now because uh, the spawning pool just finished. And then we want to go and rally everything to the natural. Because that drone's going to the main, it'll go straight up to 16. There we go. And then everything can just go to the natural. And it'll just make a really nice bit of saturation. We've got another overlord at 25 supply. Go ahead and put him in a dead space or something. Like I said, it doesn't matter too much where you spread them right now. Since that's more reliant on the strategy, the matchup, and the map. Um, where you want to put them and you you can worry about that at a later date 28 supply we want to go ahead and build another queen I uh, want to build two more drones going up to 32 supply and then we're gonna get lair so go ahead and inject with these put them in a hotkey straight up to 32 supply and then we're gonna get lair and then we're gonna go ahead and get another overlord so let's see another overlord coming up now go ahead and spread him to this ledge here and we'll go ahead and drone up to 36 supply where we're going to get a roach warren which will time out to about 25% on the lair which is good since it'll end when the lair finishes meaning we can get roach speed in decent timing get that inject on keep droning put this queen that comes out over here on a hotkey and then go ahead and spread creep with her we'll go straight up to 40 supply and then we're going to go ahead and build another overlord which we need to spread so put him on this little ledge here just outside your base um, we've got some enemy here but we don't want to worry about him um, drone it all the way up to 44 supply and then we're going to pick up double gas on the natural make sure you keep this spread going 
and make sure we keep the injects going. Yes, 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 yes. So drone straight up to 47 supply. Make sure you keep these creeps spread going. And now we want to build a double overlord and get roach speed. I forgot to spread those overlords. Like even I forget, especially when I'm talking. Um, especially at this point in the game. So we pick up those two overlords from the eggs, go ahead and spread those to places. And now we're just going to build roaches and we're going to make sure that we're putting them in the hotkeys. And we're going to make sure that we're spreading creep and we're going to make sure that we're injecting as well. So build these, um, getting close to the supply cap now. So you want to go ahead and build two more overlords. Here comes one overlord, spread him somewhere, spread this one somewhere and then Make sure we're spreading this creep, make sure she's pooping more creep. And then make sure you're building more roaches and make sure what you're doing is you're shift egging the roaches into the control group so you can get back to them nice and easy. And we've got two more overlords coming now so we can get another bunch of roaches. And then we're going to need some more overlords. And right, the goal right now is just to keep building roaches, keep spreading creep and keep injecting. And that is the ultimate goal right now. So we get three more overlords now. Um, spread those to good locations on the map. Dead space is always a good location. And then, yeah, we'll just keep doing this for a long time. Make sure you are shift egging those roaches in. Because that is one of the most important parts that you don't want to overlook. Keep spreading that creep as well. Make sure you spread it right to the edge. And keep getting those roaches. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Do that all the way up to 200 supply just so you can get used to shift egging the roaches in, used to injecting, used to spreading creep and just keep doing that all the way up to 200 supply. That will be really good mechanics practice because it's actually quite a bit to take on and like those are the main mechanics that you need to learn to be able to execute everything. Like I don't expect you to be able to execute that perfectly, um, especially with all that creep spread with the injects, with the roaches, you know, but just do the best you can do it a couple of times, maybe five times, all the way up to 200 supply, maybe 10 times, like just depending on how well you do it. But, um, you know, make sure you get it, you know, fairly clean, but it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. Just as long as you get those mechanics down, then it's it's good. So, yeah, I'll, um, I'll make sure the build order pops up on the, that side of the screen as well, whilst this game is running. So I don't even need to say that because I've already done that in the editing once you've seen this video. <laughs> but yeah, now we're going to go into the leagues, guys. So. I hope you enjoyed the Wood League section, and now it's time for Bottoms League! Yes! Sections are not... you don't need to do them. Um, you know, the whole goal of this guide is just to improve your mechanics. The thing about these League things is that they're going to give you builds that allow you 